Hi everyone, this is going to be the reading for Gemini for the month of May. Um, this could apply if you're a Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars or North Node. Uh, so if this video doesn't resonate with you, do be sure to check out the other signs. Um, also, I'm taking personal reading bookings right now. If you'd like to book a reading with me, uh, like a birth chart reading, a relationship compatibility or even tarot, you can drop me a message on Facebook or email and both the links are in the description box. Uh, if you like this video, do give it a thumbs up and a like. I love the thumbs up and likes that I get on my videos. Comment in the comment box below and be sure to share your views. I see the page of pentacles in reverse. Uh, let's look at a couple of more cards uh, because I have a feeling this is going to be an interesting reading. What are the other messages for Gemini for May 2021? What does Gemini need to know for the month of May? What do they need to keep in mind? We have the Nine of Cups. Very nice energy. Okay. What else for Gemini for May 2021? What does Gemini need to know? We have the Chariot in reverse. Let's look at a couple of more cards and then I'll start the reading. What else for Gemini for the month of May? Okay, we have two cards. We have the Empress in reverse. We have the King of Wands. What else for Gemini for the month of May? What does Gemini need to know? What does Gemini need to know for the month of May? What are the other messages for Gemini? We have the nine of cups, sorry, ten of cups in reverse. Okay, so let's get started. I'll do some clarifiers as well later as we go forward. Um, I feel like a lot of you turned down a job offer or, you know, a job opportunity in the past because it wasn't what you were looking for. So this could have been a job. This could have been a business opportunity which presented itself as something really nice but then when you looked at it um, you decided it wasn't for you um, because you felt like it was going to upset your peace of mind because right now I feel like Gemini you're in a very good space in the month of May uh, you're truly in your nine of cups moment where you are perfectly happy perfectly content with whatever you have going on in your life and I feel like whatever this opportunity was in the past, like this job opportunity or this business opportunity, it would have taken away your peace. It would have sort of ungrounded you. And you chose to reject that because you wanted to focus on your peace and happiness more. Uh, I see the chariot in reverse. Now the chariot upright is very much about charging forward, right? Moving forward. Uh, it's very cardinal energy is the energy of cancer and you know it's about just moving forward and really focusing on what it is that you need to do because this is turning up in reverse i feel like a lot of you are in sort of this limbo or this transition phase where you're figuring things out where you're deciding do i really want to do this or do i want to do that which path do i want to take so that's why there is this sense of stalling is what i'm picking up on where you're sort of holding holding on to your horses not really moving in any direction right now because you're trying to figure things out and see what works for you and what doesn't right so uh, that's why you're you're in this stationary position right now I do see the Empress which is coming up in reverse so maybe a lot of you are a little bit ungrounded when it comes to like enjoying life and you know whatever life has to offer because the Empress upright is Venusian energy. Like she's very much um, in her space. She's enjoying whatever she has. Um, she's in this energy of abundance, right? And it's it's very plentiful. And she's not lacking for anything, right? It's very, uh, she's very centered. She's very grounded. She's got everything she needs, but not in a conceited way. It's just that like this is how she is and she's very happy with it. Now, because this is turning up in reverse, it tells me that a lot of you may be feeling this sense of lack. And the reason I say that is because it's coming up with the chariot in reverse. Now, like I said just a few minutes back, like a lot of you are in this transition phase where you're figuring things out, right? Like 
we are figuring out do i really want to go this path or that path like maybe you are making important life decisions career decisions um and that kind of thing especially now that we are about to start gemini season this is your season so it's a very good time to contemplate and figure out which way you want your life to go in but as a result of this some of you may be feeling like this energy of being left out or maybe you're looking at people around you and the fact that they've accomplished xyz and you know so many things and maybe you're feeling a little bit left out and you're feeling like you know why am i not there but spirit is asking me to tell you that there is a time and place for everything right like everybody's journey is different everybody's trajectory is different everybody's path is different like that's like comparing apples and oranges like there is no comparison you, you are a different person from anybody else and you have your own journey you have your own path in life so this transition period that you're going through is very important i feel gemini because it's going to shape your future it's going to shape the way you move forward and as a result if you're feeling any sense of lack right like if you're feeling this energy that you're wanting for something um maybe that's throwing you off balance a little bit and there is this energy of anxiety i'm picking up from this card also especially gemini because you are ruled by mercury so you can be a bit of an overthinker sometimes you can be very much in your thoughts in your mind um so maybe this sense of lacking or being in lack is throwing you off balance now the king of wands also turned up here and also the 10 of cups in reverse so this energy that you're feeling like maybe you're lacking you feel like you're lacking for something or like you don't have what you want yet like i always say never say that i don't have what i need just say i don't have what i need yet because that means that you're still going to get it um so maybe that's causing this 10 of cups in reverse because 10 of cups is this happily ever after card you know it's this energy of complete happiness and fulfillment and having everything you want in life now because this is turning up in reverse i feel like that energy of lack and wanting for more is causing you to disrupt your own happiness like a lot of the times we get in our own way by blocking our happiness by blocking our blessings because of our thoughts because of our thought patterns so spirit is telling me to to let you know to focus on what you have and you know operate in this energy of gratitude because that's when the doors start opening right like when you show the universe that you're truly happy with whatever you have you're in this energy of contentment and peace and you're operating in this energy of gratitude that's when the universe starts giving you more right <clears throat> because they feel like you will appreciate it more i see the king of wands coming up as well now the king of wands is essentially a uh, leo energy uh, so this could be a leo person in your life like if you are in a romantic relationship this could be a leo person in your life uh, but what i'm picking up on like there is also this um, energy of transformation in this card which is very crucial for you gemini like i said you're in this transition phase where things are still blossoming right like maybe you maybe the tree that you planted hasn't borne fruit yet but the tree is there and it's about waiting for the fruit to be born because you know the wands if you see the guy holding the wand there are some leaves blossoming so there is a lot of potential there is a lot of hope in this card and this is also the card of transformation there is a salamander here there is like you know the snake eating its own tail so a lot of energy of transformation in this card So Gemini you are going through this period of flux right now where you may feel like things are not happening the way you want them to or you may feel a little bit frustrated from time to time you may look at people around you and say like you know they've moved ahead they're so far ahead and where am I in my journey but this is about really being in that nine of cups moment and realizing that you have everything you need right now like you don't need to be in any other place other than what you are right now Let's look at some clarifications. I want to see what this king of wands is because I want to see what potential is there for you, Gemini, in the month of May. So what is this king of wands for Gemini? Spirit, please guide and advise. Uh what is what is this king of wands for Gemini? Mhm. Mm 
What is this King of Wands? The Gemini needs to know. What's the King of Wands that Gemini needs to know? So I'm getting the Nine of Pentacles. So what I'm sensing is instead of focusing on what you don't have, right? Or like where you are lacking or wanting, Spirit is asking me to tell you to focus on self-sufficiency and self-reliance because the Nine of Pentacles is about money. It's a, it's a Pentacles card. And this is also the card of self-sufficiency, self-reliance, you know, working to establish an empire or, you know, uh, working to establish a framework or a system that works for you, that brings you money, that helps you avoid dependability on anyone, right? It's a very independent energy. So the king of wands here is about that. Like you are essentially working towards something that is going to make you more independent financially. It's going to uh, reward you in a lot of ways. So keep up the nine of cups moment, like, you know, be in that energy of gratitude, keep working towards what you have. And right now, like I said, you're in this transformative, transformative phase, Gemini, where you're still focusing on things and figuring things out. So don't be so harsh on yourself. You're going to get there. Just keep working on your goals and your financial goals, especially, and uh, keep working at it and you'll be there very soon. So that's the reading for you, Gemini, for May 2021. If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up and like. I love the thumbs up and likes that I get on my videos. Do drop in a comment if this resonated with you. And if you'd like to book a, a personal reading with me, drop me a message on Facebook or email. And the links are in the description box. I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.